Okay guys, in this video I am going to show you the circle counter module. Uh, they have updated the counter which was just a bar that came out and the color that you chose came out as a graph and now they have a circle counter and they also have just a number counter. So we're going to insert a circle counter. We're going to give it a title. Give it a number. This is going to be the percent that it is going to count up to. Percentage sign on. That way it has the counter going around on. And text color. I'm going to leave this one dark. And our bar background color, which is going to be the color of the bar that goes around. So let's go ahead and save that one. another number. This time I'm going to choose a different color. And another color. Let's go with yellow or an orangish yellow. And for the last two, I'm just going to leave them green. Put in our number. And for this one, I used a specialty section. I went to add specialty section and I chose this one right here. Uh, the reason for this is because when you go to the columns, you'll now see that it has the one half, one half, and then it has the full width. But also when I do this, I can put in a sidebar. And when I say add row, doing it this way, instead of doing it as a full width section, this row right here will be a part of this, not a separate one. So if I have a sidebar and it's not going to put it at the bottom of the sidebar, it's going to put it next to the sidebar. So whenever you're doing something like this, where it's like three and three, you should use a specialty section. So now let's go ahead and preview this. And there you could see the action as it counted up the percents. But let's refresh and make sure the top is working as well. And if you ever have an issue where the top isn't working, you may want to try and make more space between this top piece and this piece down here because this is the load transition uh, effect. So once the page loads, that's when this starts to load as well. So now let's go ahead and I will show you the dark as well because you can also put this on a dark background by making these all light. So we're going to insert three more. And we're going to choose light text for each of these. And let's go ahead and make that blue. And 
make this one light as well. And one more. And we'll make this one yellow. And then we will go ahead and preview again. And then down here, you can see that we have the light ones on the dark background. <laughs> 